Hey guys, Eugene here from Review Outdoor Gear. Look at this weather. We're reviewing today the Council Tool Hudson Bay 2 pound 28 inch axe. It's a very nice little axe, a medium sized axe from Council Tool. Now, we have been testing this stuff for a while, uh, well, for some time. And what happened with the first one that we got was this. And um, very, very interesting story because Council Tool, we contacted them, they immediately sent us a replacement and they actually have changed up a lot of things on this one. Um, they used to have this flush with the, uh, with the head. Now it's all sticking out. Anyway, a much better version of the axe. So this is the new version, not the old one. We're gonna do a review of this. We're gonna keep chopping with it, show you some footage and uh, give our conclusions at the end. It's, it's a, actually a very good little camp axe if you're just uh, carrying something in your backpack. Not a bad little axe to have. So let's take a look at it, closer look. I'll give you the details, specs. We'll do a little chopping. We'll do a little splitting with it. And uh, you can see for yourself what you think about this thing. So this is the council tool again, Hudson Bay pattern, uh, 28 inch, two pound head. Let's take a look. Well guys, so let me go over some details on this ax for you before we show you everything else. So you can see it's roughly this big. So, you know, medium sized I'd say, cause I mean, beyond that, you know, it becomes kind of on a hatchet, but then a felling ax is another 10 inches or so. So 28 inches here, um, you know, let me say something about the handle because it's really nice. Uh, you guys have seen the Grand Force Brooks axes probably. Uh, this is more of a medium priced axe, not a high end, um, but the quality is definitely there. And um, the handle is really, really well done with this nice shape, as well as a palm swell both ways. You can see it's swelling out this way. Uh, this way as well as this way. And so it's a, it's a very nice grip. It's American Hickory, uh, treated with, I'm not, I'm not, you know, actually, I'm not sure if it's treated with boiled linseed oil or not, but we're gonna definitely put coats on this. Uh, we have had coats of it on our previous ax handle there that I showed you in the beginning. Um, so then coming down here to the ax head, um, you can see it's roughly about six inches and the blade length is about four to four and a half inches here or so. Um, and then it has this Hudson Bay pattern. It's a very specific kind of pattern to a certain area, I, is my understanding. Um, and then in terms of the sharpness, it actually came pretty sharp straight from the factory. We didn't have to put any edge on this and it, and it chops and uh, splits pretty well, as you'll see. Um, but you can still put a you know razor edge on it if you want, but it's actually pretty sharp already. Um, previous version actually was a little dull. So they've upped their game with the, with the sharpening on these for sure. And then you can see the angle here on the grind. Um, it's hard to say exactly what that angle is without measuring it, but uh, it's definitely gonna be more of a chopper than a splitter, as you can see. Um, although, you know, you can always split with almost any ax, but it's just not designed for that primarily. So the other thing I really like here is the fact that they now have the handle proud on the head here. It's hung to where it's sticking out and it allows it to spread out a little bit here. And that means that it's a lot harder for the handle to move out. Previous version, this was flush and it started to move off and then it broke. So um, you can spot, you can catch that a lot sooner with this. If this starts disappearing into the handle or the handle starts disappearing into the head, then you can right away see that. Um, but if not, then, you know, it's hung well. So and then you can always feel for, for wobble. And then they have a nice, uh, wooden wedge in the middle and then this European kind of style round metal wedge planted into that. Very, very nice in terms of um, the way it mushrooms out. And then I don't see any gaps with the hanging of the head on this on this handle. Uh, it's very nice and flush, which is, which is great. And then they also have this ground pole on the ax. And um, whereas the previous versions didn't have that as well as it's not painted and you can see the tempering lines here on the edge, which is nice. That means they actually did their work in terms of getting the right hardness on the edge and uh, have the Council Tool logo stamped in, USA made. Very nice company, guys. We reviewed multiple axes from Council Tool and you know it's all USA made and um, it's just a very, very good old company that's been doing a good job. So ergonomically, uh, it's more of a skinny handle, I would say, you know, compared to even the Grand Force books are a little bit thicker, um, but that's okay. You know, it, I have uh, about six foot and these are pretty, this is the, my hand, uh, pretty good hand size. And uh, it feels all right in the hand. It's not too small, although it's 
I would have liked it probably a little bit thicker in the handle. Um, but outside of that, it's pretty good. Now, the only thing I'm going to say that is, is going to be a downside just with this head shape, not particularly with this accent in particular, but generally with the fact that we have a small amount of purchase of the metal here on the handle in terms of this distance, it's going to affect how much it's holding and how easy it's going to be to, to remove that with time. So just something to consider. If you have a long head like this with a long eye, a lot more purchase. But what is compensating that is the fact that this handle is pretty tall this way and it's not skinny um, in terms of, you know, the vertical height here. So that's really good. Well, take a look at some chopping footage and some, some splitting. Okay guys, well, let's chop this. Again, we're out in the winter here. Uh, it's actually September and it's snowing here. It's crazy out in Spokane. So we're gonna be chopping through this uh, fallen, fallen tree here for a campsite. I'm just gonna take it through here. We could use a saw, of course, but uh, the point is to test this ax. So let's, uh, let's give it a go. Okay, we're through. Some hard work, <laughs> chopping overhead like that. We're gonna split this log in a couple more, but a lot of the logs that we already split are in the fire over there, and it has been splitting pretty well. And the logs we've been splitting haven't been very big. So, you know, if you're gonna be splitting like 10 inch or 20 inch rounds, good luck. Uh, but something for like under 10 inches, I'd say it's, it's a decent splitter. So uh, just a little log here, let's take a shot. I mean, kind of a funny test to do with this thing, but you know, this is what you're gonna be using at Horn Camp. Um, or out in the forest when you're clearing things. Um, you saw the footage there, me clearing the wood. But for splitting, this thing is a champ for little logs. Nothing big though. So, there we go. So the edge retention on this is, is quite good. Um, the one we had before, we had to put an edge on it initially, but then it held up great afterwards. This one we've been chopping and the edge has stood up pretty well uh, to the chopping that we've been doing as well as the splitting. So, um, and you know, the other thing I really wanna say just about Council Tool is it's a great company in terms of if anything goes wrong with the ax, and we've experienced this with them, with, uh, with two other axes, if anything goes wrong, you literally email them and the guys will take care of you really well. If there's something that fails on the ax, they will replace it, they'll make it good. Um, and they're constantly working to improve their products and I've seen that as well. So. I would very highly recommend this company and specifically this axe. I think it's a really good one for if this is the size that you need and um, you know if this fits your intended use. So this is the sheath that comes with this one now. The previous version didn't have one 
it comes with this little leather sheath, which is leather, which is great. Um, here's the fit. So it has this little buckle that you pull back and it's not quite enough to go to the next one. So you have to put it on this one. And sometimes it's a little bit of a struggle to get that in. But once you do, it looks like this. It's a little loose on here. Um, riveted down, no welt here, which is an extra piece of leather between the pieces. Made in the USA. Nice uh, metal rivets everywhere. So it'll definitely protect, protect you from the ax. If you do chop with this though, you will hit these rivets and it could dent the edge. When they shipped it to me, they shipped it without the sheath on, which is a good idea. And they had a rubber edge on this with tape because multiple axes I've received in the past with rivets like this, not for particularly from Council Tool, but from other companies. And they've come to me with dents from the rivets from just the ax even in chipping. So that's always an issue or often an issue with these riveted sheaths. Now you guys know, of course, that we at Reveal Outdoor Gear also make sheaths for axes. And, um, you know, sometimes this does sound like more of a sheath review sometimes, but um, honestly, we're trying to give you a good look at the ax. We also provide our own sheaths for these axes. A lot of them that we review. And this one, no exception, because it's, an, it's a nice, uh, nice ax. We have made a sheath for it that is available on Amazon and on our website. So you can see that it's specifically formed to perfectly fit this ax without even snapping it shut. Very easy to put on and it looks nice and neat on this ax. I think it dresses the ax up quite well with this brown color. We got the gear, it's all handmade by my brother, my father, myself here in the USA. Um, hand stitched, we don't have the rivets along this edge. So if you do chop through it, um, you will destroy the sheath, but you will not destroy the ax in any way. And we do have a welt here as well, and it's saddle stitched. And you guys can go to the website or Amazon to see some really up close, good photos of these sheaths and, and all the handiwork that goes into them. But we have rivets on all the corners and um, it's, you know, wet formed specifically for this ax. So if you guys are interested in this sheath, definitely available on Amazon and our website event eventually. So take a look at that. So again, I wanted to make a conclusion now, guys. Thank you very much for watching the video. This is a great axe. I definitely recommend it. If you're in the market for a medium-sized axe for just camping and for uh, everyday use, um, this is a pretty good one. If you're felling big trees, I'd recommend a bigger axe than this one. Hopefully you like it. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section. Check the description for any updates or any links that I mentioned. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to praise God for everything we have, like this beautiful outdoors. We're going to have some nice steak for us now. See you guys in the next one.